Hello and welcome back to Monkey Gardening. Um, I'm just filling in uh, this pea bed with the rest of my uh, peas. Um, I had some of these last night, um, pea shoots and a salad and they were awesome. A uh, salad with feta and some mint. Uh, so all, all you do is you, just, you can just cut the tops off and they'll grow back. Um, so I'm cramming them in quite closely here. So it doesn't matter too much, I'm not growing them tall like these over here. Uh, so all I'm doing is just digging a hole and um, putting some water in the hole so as soon as the plant goes in the roots can find some water and then filling it up and you can see I'm planting them quite deep you don't have to worry about burying some of the lower leaves in fact they're much happier if they're buried a bit deep they can stand up to the wind a bit better uh, the forecast today is for rain although the forecast has improved a bit um, so I'm trying to get a few jobs done before that happens um, the rest of the week isn't looking too uh, dry and sunny either um, but we'll see how we go uh, okay, I'll get on with this and uh, you can join me later when I'll be doing something else. Okay, so my next job is going to be to uh, get rid of this uh, rainbow chard. Uh, they've both been great plants, they've lasted the winter. Um, <clears throat> but you can see that they've both, they're both bolted, they've both gone to flower. Um, and it's not really producing any useful leaves anymore. Um, and I can use this space for something else. Um, so yeah, it's time for these two plants to go. Okay, so just before I pull the, these out of the ground, um, I went and checked um, online, did some research. Um, people are suggesting that if I cut these off um, an inch above the uh, surface, um, that there's a good chance that these will regenerate. Um, so I've got a bit of time um, to spare to allow them to do that, see if, see if that happens. Um, so we're going to give them a chance. So I'm going to cut these off uh, an inch from the bottom um, and, and see if they regenerate. Okay, so you can see that the pigeons have arrived. Uh, to eat all of my unripe cherries. A couple of good pigeons there on a feast. Hopefully I'm not going to crap all over my garden afterwards. Enjoy your lunch, lads. Okay, so I've cut the chard down. Felt a bit drastic, but uh, we'll see how we go. They should have good, strong roots. They're, rela they're related to the uh, beetroot family. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to give these a little bit of water. Um, let them do their own thing for a while, see what happens. Okay, so I'm just doing my usual walk around the garden. Um, today, and yesterday, but particularly today, is the first significant rain we've had. Um, so I'm just going to have a look around. Uh, hopefully exciting things happen with my potatoes. Um, I've almost completely run out of compost now, which is a bit of an issue. If you look at these courgettes, they could really do with pla being planted up. Um, B and Q and things have opened now, but I've not, uh, I've not gone there yet. I may go in a couple of days if things have calmed down. But, um, um, I've got some compost in order, but it could still be another week before that arrives. Um, I'm just going to have to make do, I think. Um, if need be, I could always take some uh, compost out of the beds, um, even though it's not the best. Um, but I do have some plant feed, um, and the cool jets could probably do with being fed now, anyway. Um, and they don't look too unhappy at the moment. Uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, the onions are coming on well, so I'll put a sneaky look under here, see what's happening. Yeah, so they're really coming on. Um, you don't have to worry too much about the leaves getting bent under the fleece, the plants don't really mind it. Um, let's see how the radishes are doing. Okay, they're not the happiest radishes in the world, but they're, they're growing anyway. I think I might have to admit defeat with this. Uh, twig of uh, blackberry that I tried to save. It doesn't really seem to be doing anything that's turning yellow. Um, I'll leave it there for now but we'll probably clear that out next time we're having a sort out. Um, blackberries, they're really coming on. You can see there's going to be lots of fruit. Um, so that's very nice. Uh, similarly with the uh, raspberry, you can see the little flowers uh, forming. Uh, in here Oh, by the way, the, the, the rain can get through um, the fleece. 
I've just left this on for today. Um, so yeah, the peas are really starting to grow at the back now. That's good. And the ones which I uh, chopped the other day for pea shoots for salad, uh, they've already put on new growth. Um, so they'll be ready to be picked again. Uh, I've got a few courgettes in here because we're running out of room. Uh, sunflower's not looking particularly happy. Probably with a bit more sun, I guess. Um, what else? So yeah, this is the sum total of the compost that I've got left. Uh, some more sunflowers. I'm not going to waste any more um, compost putting those up. We'll see if they survive in here until I get some compost that arrives. Um, yeah, so obviously I'm not taking any things out today. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty cool out here, so things aren't going to get too hot. Um, but everything's still growing on. Yeah, so it's got quite a lot of basil germinated in there. Um, and yeah, the fleece suddenly just completely full. Uh, mostly with courgettes and other things as well. Um, so that's the state of the play of the garden. And let's have a quick trip to uh, Seedling Corner. So here we are in Seedling Corner. Uh, not an awful lot going on in here. Um, these are some sweet corn, which I propagated in the heated uh, propagator. Um, just out of curiosity really, the seeds came free with the um, May issue of Kitchen Gardener magazine. Um, even though it's still April, I've also received the June issue, issue of uh, the magazine. So I'm quite looking forward to reading the uh, Christmas issue where, around Halloween time. Um, I've not grown sweet corn before, um, so yeah, I'm just curious to see how it, how it grows. Uh, in the heated propagator, I have got uh, one here. Remember, uh, more sweet peas. So these are the ones that I soaked um, and then I put them in the propagator. Later on, I'm going to do some chilies and then I'll leave them heated propagator as well. Um, but yeah, you can see I'm, I'm going to move these to the polytunnel because now they've germinated, they'll be seeking out the light and they'll get more light in the uh, polytunnel than they would on this windowsill. Okay, so that's it for this issue, issue of uh, Monkey Gardening. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.